Back with some more Subnautica. Now I'm pretty much where I exactly left off, although the ironic thing is between here and now a literal week has passed since the first and last recording, so trying to remember what the hell I was doing um, might take a moment. Uh, but regardless, we are back in the Aurora here, just about to loot the joint, and I have just unlocked the door ahead of time. I have got some uh, various codes on screen at the moment because uh, I'm probably not going to do this legitimately trying to go through the damn codex and search for codes as I don't have time for that. So let's just get on, get in through this damn ship and see what's going on. And actually, I swear the lighting in here has improved somewhat. It does look very nice. I do like the look of it. Um, and I should probably keep the scanner out because there's probably going to be shit to scan up in here. Also, uh, hopefully, I'm, uh, hopefully I end up sounding okay. I... I really, really hope I'm not coming down with a cold. Um, my mum's had a bit of an illness recently, and uh, you, you know that weird feeling in the like. It's not really back of the throat feeling. That's usually where it starts. I just had some, I don't know, just a bit of a stuffy nose for a while, and I don't know. I mean, I, I think I, I, I probably sound okay, but I don't know. Which, for for me to get ill is actually almost concerning for me because it's probably been, oh, how long has it been since my last illness? Probably two plus years like I just don't get ill and for me to get ill I almost feel like I'm I don't know <laughs> doing something wrong you know uh, so food and water is gonna be pretty plentiful um, in this ship as it kind of was last time yeah uh, last time I uh, came in here which has been a while but you know let's let's see how far we can go uh, oh yeah this I am infected so at least that's still a thing so um Anyway, let's go on down and see what shit is around here. That's actually a good point. Um, oh, we got those lovely bitery things. That's uh, that's fun. Um, what was I even going to say? Yeah, no. I wonder if I can actually repair the damn ship at some point. Uh, that should be a thing. So let's just sort of stand on this crate a moment. Uh, what are we going to need? I kind of want my scanner out, but let me see. Um, hmm. Let's have that. Oh god, what the hell? Ow. Oh. Um. Can I... How do you get... How do you get rid... How? how? Excuse me. How? <laughs> oh, fuck off. Stupid... <laughs> Biter thing. You know... Right, you're dead. Um. Wow, my health. They do more... Did they do more damage than I remember? Um. Hello? Fuck off. Could you... Could you not... I'm, I'm trying to, like, comprehend what the situation is right now. And I don't really need things trying to eat me. Uh, right, let's see. Med kit. Let's have let's have a fish and a drink. I uh, made that two drinks. Uh, could you fuck, fuck off? <laughs> I'm trying to sort out my bloody inventory and I'm just getting, like, eaten. Uh, right, I need this and that. Okay. Uh, right, uh, I'm, I'm floating on top of the water. Can I repair this thing? Yes. Please repair the door. I need to see what's behind this thing here. Uh, right. Open you. Ah, so we have seam off shit. Okay, um. When did I start recording? Okay, I passed around. Right, okay. Just make a mental note roughly how long I should be doing this. Grab that. Ah, uh, I kind of want to keep the. Ooh. Uh, that's a depth module. Sure, I will take that. That's Seamoth fragment. I believe I've already got. I think I, did I already get the seam off? I don't remember. It's been a while. I don't remember this shit. Uh, sure, but let's, let's scan it. Uh, I did get it. Okay, okay. Uh, nothing to scan in here. No, no. Okay, let's move on. Try not to get bitten in the face and the button somewhere in between. I don't know. Uh, that's a weird way to take that. Right. Uh, you. I wish. I wish to laser you. Nice, uh, um, nice visuals uh, on the cutting laser. I gotta say, it does look, uh, does look rather nice to say the least. So, you, sir, Mister Door, get out of my way. I don't have time for this. It's been, this is this is the only issue. Sunday evenings just turn into like a frantic recording session almost. Um, right, let's see. Uh, we have a med kit there. We have a PDA. Um, I'm definitely not going to be the sort of person to actually. Uh, to actually go and re uh, review these re um, PDAs because many people have done that before and well I just want to play the game survive mostly not role play per se and then get out of this you know get out of the joint you know um, uh, let's see have I got all these yes I've scanned you scanned you okay uh, right what is over here 
Uh, as we have a fire. Can I repair this from with here? Yes, I can repair without needing to take out the fire. Useful. Right, so this is going into this section. I'm going to backtrack a second just to make sure I haven't uh, forgotten anything on the other side of things. Uh, which I may have done so. Let's see. What is the way over there? There is something in my goddamn eye. I hope this doesn't turn into another episode where I've had that before. Um, no, okay, right. What's this deduction? Uh, okay, drive room, okay. The drive core shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Do not attempt to repair without appropriate qualifications? Ah, sod it. Uh, so yeah, this is the thing I can actually go and repair, so, uh, let us actually repair this damn thing. Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Uh, and we got the efficiency module for the Cyclops, okay. Alright, let's get all these damn things repaired, eh? Further breaches detected. Now, that's actually kind of nice. They actually have more of a, um... Um, they have much more of a, um... Ah, uh, spark coming out of them now. Kind of interesting how like this is literally like the 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 drive core's destroyed, right? Always meant to be. Uh, oh god. Hey. Oh fuck off. <laughs> wish I could like wish I could like weld um that weird thing. Uh, but you, like the, the the core is destroyed, but yet this is all this is all I've got to repair to at least um fix the the um you know fix all the radiation links. This is kind of. Yeah, it, it, I would. I was expecting more of like a hole in the ship. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's keep on going. Hopefully that thing does not follow me particularly. Uh, get some air. Uh, repair you, repair you, and let's get this done. I see you over to my right. How about no? Oh god, hello. Uh, if only I could just go kill you things. I suppose if I had my knife I probably could. Do, 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 do. Right, so so anyway, I'm um, thinking of thinking of some small talk here. How, how are you all? How are you guys doing? Like, what's what's going on in your life? How, how are you finding some Nautica as of late? Um, really, I am not playing it that much outside of actually recording it. But uh, yeah, you know, it, it's a good game. Don't get me wrong; it's it's very good graphics. Kind of say uh, run, runs a lot better than the old days. Like if you if you're like me and you've played this game, you know, in the very early days of development. Oh my god, it things things. Uh, the situation of oh there we go I even got an achievement nice drive core breach sealed radiation levels decreasing okay that's good so that should be fixed within a few days okay but no, if you have if you've been playing the game in the, like, the really early days of development oh my god the performance varied wildly that's for damn sure so hey radiation is at least being fixed um, at least over time. Okay, let's go check the other room, which I believe has some like prawn suit shite in here, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see, uh, there's a lot of fire in here. Something tells me I'm, I should probably keep a fire extinguisher handy this time. Uh, ooh. Picking up a faint what do we got over here? Originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. Hmm. Interesting. There's supposed to be like a flashlight at the bottom of this, if I remember correctly. Um, well, I could just about to reach this one to a scan. Prawn suit mark three. Huh? There's different versions of these things. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if there's going to be something something different to this, right? Maybe four pieces. Um. And I'm pretty sure you can't just go get this thing from within the ship. You kind of need to, uh... Let's see. I don't know. Can you, can, can you like, access this one? Can you, can you access this prawn suit by just putting out the fire on it? Maybe I'm just wasting, uh, fire extinguisher fuel. I don't know. Oh, no, no, that does work. Okay. Uh, so we need to scan number four. Four and uh, uh actually actually hold on 
Let's just get rid of some of this fire. Okay, okay, they did, they did change it. It never used to be quite like this. But you can go get a prawn suit from within here. Alright. Alright, game, I see you've changed over time. Uh, so let's just quickly try and parkour and most likely fail because I, I am such a I'm such a derp, um, usually. Oh, there we go. I have got up here. So, uh, we're going up to the crew quarters, I believe. Yes, yes we are. Uh, at least here. Got some fleeted water. Uh, can I get you up there? I want I want to get I want to get you, thank you. Uh, what's in here? Oh, nutrient blocks. I have food for days. And this is kind of one reason to go go to this damn ship, because at least you've got food in here. Food, water, and the like. Uh, right, so, vending machine, of course. Always need a vending machine. Good thing to scan. Uh, bar table's done, I've done that, okay. Let's try and go around the fire. Ooh, okay, the shelf is scannable, alright, good to know. Didn't actually know it was a thing, but okay, uh, take that. Take the PDA, that door is inaccessible. Uh, okay, trash, I cannot scan, cannot scan you. Uh, is there anything on that table over there that's worth my time getting? Uh, no, no, okay. Uh, that room's done. Uh, locked, locked. You'd think a laser cutter could just go through any of these damn doors. But yeah, those locked doors, nope. They're locked, you cannot go into there. Um, let me see, um, what is it? Uh, f uh, let me check my code list here. Hold on. Uh, is it? Uh, do, do, do. It was that code. Okay, good to know. I don't have time to go and search for my damn PDAs. So, norm you. Uh, see. Uh, disinfected water. The inventory is getting full as a carry bag, as a bench. Sure, I'll scan the bench. Because you know, who knows? Who knows? We might, you might actually want a bench somewhere. I don't know. Double bed, just to remind you of how lonely you are. <laughs> if I had a double bed in right, right here and now, I'd probably just, just like the extra space to roll around. And to be honest, not that I really need it. I've been, you know, I've been sleeping in a single bed all my life. So, I, uh, single bed. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of which, uh, scan that. Uh, cannot carry the carry all, which is a bit of a. I think, I think there's like a pun in there somewhere. Um, inventory is definitely getting a little full. Um, just hang on one second. Apologies for that. Just had to. Uh, uh, just had to close the door over. Uh, right, let's. Um, Get rid of that. Electric sparks everywhere. Right. Uh, this is a captain's quarters. Uh, do I actually even have a code for that? It doesn't appear to be on this page. Uh, don't know. I might have to come back to that. I swear I had a. Uh, I swear I had a code for that. No, it does not appear that I. Uh, that I do. No, no, I don't. Okay, I will have to come back to that. Assuming I remember to do so, because my memory is usually rather shite. Oh, PDA. Uh, poster? Yep, okay. Lots of posters. Uh, cabin 7 looks a bit of a mess. So, let's, uh, get on in here. Wow, that ceiling notice doesn't look good. <laughs> uh, right, nothing to scan here. Oh, battery? Okay, sure. Uh, water. Oh, inventory full. Oh, that, that's no good. Um, just, sure, just nom that fish and this really, really small amount of filtered water. But we'll take that. Disinfected water's better. There's a container with a CA, a CA medical kit in there. Yes, okay, good. Uh, battery. More batteries than I don't know what to do with, but, you know, see if I can carry as much as I can anyway uh, in this one trip. Uh, another container with uh, some uh, some inventory full. No, some uh, in disinfected water. Uh, there's a lot of fire there. I don't think you can get into cabin five. I think that is actually uh, a case of you can't get in. Right, uh, just get rid of that titanium. Oh god, that's just glitching my camera out. Uh, yeah, I can't even carry any more med kits. This titanium, I don't know. I, I don't know where it's going. It's having a wander. Um, do I need to like change the batteries in anything? Probably this one, to be honest. 
Uh, yeah, just, just do that. Just switch out the battery. And the one that's at 30% charge, just drop it. Grab that one. A bit easier to do so. That looks like a PDA, but it's actually not. Uh, right, I think that's about it. I don't think you can get in here, but let's have a look. Um, no, Cabin 5 is beyond accessibility. I probably should get rid of this, um, that fire extinguisher that was nearing its depletion. Um, oh, damn it. Yeah, where is the, uh, Captain's Quarters, um, code? It might not be on this particular page I've been searching on, but, uh, regardless. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's probably all I'm going to do for this. Let's, um, let's attempt to backtrack, and I've actually just found the Captain's Quarters again. Uh, let's, let's go home. I think I've probably got everything. My inventory's bloody full. Uh, oh, I see efficiency modules. Let's like, what's like, hang on, what was that? Uh, yeah. I think I've pretty much got most of what's, uh, useful. Um, so let's break one's legs as we, uh, run back. Try not to burn ourselves and, uh, try not to get our, our uh, arms bitten off by biters or whatever those things. Blood-sucking weird creaturey things I don't know uh, and yeah I, I would say anyone anyone watching this uh, give me a comment if I've missed anything did, like really valuable or something I don't know might have maybe it's maybe going to the captain's quarters is worth another trip uh, backwards uh, to uh, collect what I may have missed or may not have missed I don't know so just uh, someone enlighten me down below because I don't know or remember uh, so yeah let's just go all the way back out of the ship uh, and let's um, let's get let's get back. I think, to be honest, I may have this as a shorter episode because I actually do have, I do have quite a few other things I need to get done. So let's just fast track our way, uh, all the way back to the sea shed uh, and offload this shite, as we have a rather full inventory. Keep on running. Uh, bite me in the face. That's that's a good start. And let's do a really really high dive. Sploosh. Right, let's uh, get rid of this, which I, I cannot get rid of. Um, okay, there we go. Equip you, and let's go. Use the sea glide trick, and uh, oh my god, one kilometer away. Wasn't, wasn't, hang on, that's the thing with the, uh, the life pods. Wasn't there a time when the life pods would occasionally start drifting? That was just like a thing that they did. Like, so sometimes they, they just started drifting further and further away, and eventually they pretty much got out of the map. I don't know. Or at least maybe they just went so far into the void that you couldn't get to them because of the freaking ghost of islands. I don't know. Maybe that's like a an older feature in the game that uh, not really feature. Maybe it's just like an old glitch uh, that used to be a thing. Uh, I don't know what to remember. I just remember. I think I think it was like was it IGP that said that, or was it um, was it Markiplier who uh, mentioned about the drifting uh, cry? But I I really don't remember. Uh, but anyway, that's. Uh, <laughs> It's a bit of a bit of a journey, gotta say. Um, you know what? Actually, what, what did I even get? Nutrient blocks, med kits, batteries. Okay, it's pretty standard stuff, and a few random things. Oh, and of course the uh, uh, blueprints for a prawn suit, so I can at least have a quick check on that and see uh, what's required to build that. Because probably titanium ingots and uh, I don't know power cells, lubricant. You know, pretty standard stuff. Uh, but I should probably also look into a moon pool as well at some point. Attach that to the sea shed. And stuff like that, and uh, maybe at some point, some point soon-ish, maybe next up episode or two. I don't know, probably a couple episodes. Uh, I need to start thinking about doing some deeper dives, actually, like going deep into this game. You know, like you, it's a bit like Minecraft. You can do a lot on the surface. There's a lot of stuff you can just do. Uh, explore the landscape. You know, get your farms up, get your basic habitat sorted. Um, but eventually, you need to go down and explore the deeper regions of the game. Uh, that it, the same with Minecraft, unless you eventually you have to start looking deep and going mining, you know? You can't avoid it forever. Um, is it me or is my voice getting deeper <coughs> as um, time goes on? Maybe, um, I don't know, that doesn't usually happen too often. Usually it's the mornings. Uh, anyway, uh, random conversations aside, uh, I do see the top of my dome, which is actually rather convenient. I might actually keep it like that. Uh, keep the top of the sea shed exposed slightly above the surface as it's another bit of a landmark when you get within a few hundred meters of the base and uh, and here we are back to um, uh, back to home but just before we get inside 
I'm just going to have a quick look in here. In the mobile vehicle bay, let's have a quick look and see what's involved here. So, prawn suit requires plastic, enameled glass, and aerogel. Oh dear, I ain't. Interesting, it doesn't require parasu power suit. Okay, um, I'll have to look up how you make aerogel again. I can't remember, but plasteel, I think I remember how you do that. And enamel glass, I do remember how you do that. So, okay. Uh, and, uh, what a lovely morning. So we did that, we did that all through the night. And, uh, and the morning is here. And the sun rises on this rather watery landscape. Um, so, okay, let's jump inside. And, uh, yeah, offload our stuff and take a stock take, I suppose. So, a uh, yup. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, welcome aboard, indeed. Uh, right, I probably should also make some more storage containers and, and the like. Uh, so, what is it? Titanium and quartz, I think, is it to make, uh, whatever the duck it is. Uh, storage container. Where is my builder? There's my builder. Uh, no, it is just titanium. When, when was it? That's, I don't know. I swear it was like something else before, but uh, titanium. Uh, boop. In that case, uh, do we have more titanium in here? Yes, we do. I can get rid of that quartz. Uh, let's make another locker on this side, like so. Uh, boop. Uh, I should probably start labeling these, but for now, uh, let's just put some of this spare shite in here. Let's put all the spare food and medical supplies. Uh, let's keep three waters and two nutrient blocks as well as those uh, fish on me. Uh, and that's pretty much all I'm going to say, I think, at this point. Let's actually just quickly go into the planter and do exactly... Um, that's, that's interesting. There's a, a lantern fruit just sitting in the... Uh, really? It's just a, it's like a lantern fruit in there, edible, and then there's like the lantern trees. That's... That's bizarre. Uh, right, well, let's just quickly have a quick snack on these. Nom, 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 nom. Quick bit of food, and uh, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. Don't want to drag this on for too long. If it's a bit shorter than normal, then uh, apologies. And, uh, oh. Oh, that's really convenient. I can actually get on top of my base. Good to know. Um, so, from, from the top of my base, I think I'll say from here, that's all for now. Um, just, I don't know, give me some information. I don't know, give me some suggestions and information on just things that uh, I could do in the possibly in the future um, with regards to this but I'm thinking yeah just get, get the seam off soon at the uh, moon pool and actually start thinking about exploring the depths perhaps as that's always something good to do uh, and also let me know if I've missed anything in the captain's quarters because I cannot remember and uh, there might be something very important that I've missed and I need to go back and get it uh, if that's the case, then, uh, yeah, let me know uh, in the comments, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me know what you think of all of this down below in the comments, and hopefully I have not bored you to death with my slightly more monotone voice. But like I said, I might be getting an illness, and uh, I really, really hope not. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.